All right, I'm gonna do an explanation speed run because I cannot be bothered doing this another time. Uh, yeah, so robot, one world robot, that's where he last competed with this one world at Berkeley. So, dry base, six motors, pretty standard. It's like when we, it's pretty much the same dry base you saw in the dry base video if you ever watched that, but I'm gonna recap it again. 360 RPM, 325 inch wheels, uh, traction is in the middle. Your 27, 27, 29 holes wide. High strength axle here for bracing. Amazing solution, by the way. Uh, I approve. Also, battery mount right here because, I don't know, low center mass, all that. What do you want to call it? Okay. Next, we got the intake, which not powered because no chain. We took it off, and I cannot be bothered to replace it. So, try ball goes in here. It's intakes. You will spin out. It outtakes. And we can actually score tri balls with this. Just like that. And this does pretty well with when you have like multiple tri balls in a row uh, compared to like the other intake, like the, the intake that like goes up. Uh, this has the advantage that it can score multiple tri balls like that. I'm not driving because I don't feel like it. Uh, yeah, it's the intake pretty simple. We're just using, what I think these are two inch wheels. Or, yeah, there's a two inch wheel, it's not 1.625s. And it's 400 RPM, because this is a 200 RPM motor. Next, our mesh loader mechanism. We got 100 RPM cartridge. And then you have like a 24 tooth gear, slip gear. It has some amount of teeth shaved off. I can't remember how many. And this is a 72 tooth gear, so it's about 33 RPM. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull back, you see. So, it just goes about that far, and then it goes forwards like that. I'm gonna start the program actually, so I can do things. Next, that's the motor stuff out of the way. You got small things like the wings. They're locking wings, they use high strength axles. Uh, just, cause yeah, high strength axles. Not sure why we decided, okay. I know why, this is maybe not the most recommended, but hydraulic axles provide pretty good stability. Um, fairly easy to work with actually, if you just measure correctly. Actually no holding camera at the at the wing. Yeah, and then has a really good range of fine tuning stuff. Like you can pretty, pretty easily change it around. So yeah, locking wings, piston just pushes out. Same thing on the other side, the geometry is slightly different because there's a motor over there and there's no motor over here. So we have locking wing. It's pretty simple. Okay, next we got the climb. This is this, the arm just swings out. Uh, not much more to it. I mean, it's not what you normally see because normally you just have the arm that's already out before you climb. Uh, let me just shift the robot. But here you just kind of balance on the two wheels first, and then you hit the climb button, and then you climb like that. Did we fall forward? I think we fall forward. Okay, if you're smart at driving, which I'm not, you won't fall forwards, but that's an easier climb. Very simple, we were able to use it really effectively. Only problem with this, I would say, is this implementation is quite heavy. You have a high strength axle right here just for bracing. As you can see, we do love our high strength axles here. So, yeah, and this is just pretty beefed up just because it needs to be sturdy. And this is a 75 millimeter piston, by the way, we got it from the new Max kit. Uh, just helps with range and all that, as you can see. Uh, okay, next, let's do the blocker. And I actually remembered what the button press is this time. You don't know what I'm talking about because this is a previous recording, but yeah. Open the blocker like that. As you can see, it extends. It's about as tall as, and it's a bit under like the vertical elevation bar, but these things, you just, this is just kind of like a second stage for it. You've seen these on other robots, pretty simple, standard. Oh, only thing is it's kind of like, I don't want to say over center, it's not over center. It just goes more than 90 degrees. Uh, and that's so that it can act as an anti-blocker, so our cat can kind of shoot over it. Am I going to demonstrate? Probably. Probably. 
probably did not catch that, but whatever. You can trust me on this one. This it does shoot over, uh, especially when it has three rubber bands on the thing per side. Then it shoots over the blocker and over the barrier too. So you get two for one when you do three rubber bands. But you also have a slower match there, so it's not as great. But you know, that's that. Uh, I think I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. Wall riders just help with this one is frictiony as hell. Okay. And oh, I guess we can talk about sensors a little bit. So we have the distance sensor here. This is just for Auton, just like when you're using tasks. We have a rotation sensor there, and we use a PID when we're lowering, when we're doing our single shot. Uh, single shot and the blockers up mostly. Otherwise, you just run out of fire. Put this down. Retracts with rubber bands, by the way, not pneumatics. Not pneumatic air. Yeah. Save on air a little bit that way. And because we're only running one tank, and we actually had the old, new, the newer tank in here, but I swapped it out for the new robot. So I'm just using the old one here. Um, we actually have a distance sensor right here. You might see the light there. That's just for touching the auton bar, all that. Uh, and yeah, we have a gyro because everyone needs a gyro. Use a gyro, please. Yeah, and that, that should be it. Okay.